Welcome to iMPath Gaming. So today we are playing Cyberpunk 2077. Today I am going to tell you a story of a man, the real man, also known as Mr. Nonibs. Of course, you must be curious by now. So let's start this saga in Cyberpunk 2077. Once there was a man, a man without an identity. He came into existence out of nowhere. But I am the one who controls his life. I chose his past to be nomad, a wanderer. I had the choice to make him a man or a woman. I was so powerful that I can choose his whole life. Either I can make him sexy or dumb. So of course I turned him into a man. He was dumb, but of course he can look badass, right? So I gave him the badass beard. Just look at it. He was so happy with his beard that he smiled for the first time. Oh God, it was the perfect smile of all time. I was so impressed by his crooked smile so I thought I should give him gold or silver teeth. But I was too poor to afford that. One day son, one day, I'll give you these gold teeth that you desire the most. I knew I could make him the best version of himself. But something was missing. Something very important. Something that holds the key to his success. Yes, you guessed it right. I made him more manly. The perfect specimen. Stop judging me, shut up. I am the one playing the game, right? I thought he was complete, but then I realized there is still one more important thing left. As we all know, the golden words that size doesn't matter. So I gave him what he lacked. The biggest of them all, cause we all know size doesn't matter. So this is the story of how Mr. No Nips were born. Now he's ready to rule the night city. Well, look at that lovely face. He's all grown up now, ready to face the world. I didn't know he was a magician too. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Guess I was wrong. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. Well, this guy got some attitude problem. Wait till he hears my legend. The man without nips. I'm gonna pay you what we agreed. Not one anymore. Huh. For that, you can borrow my tools and fix it yourself. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> huh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hmm. And? And your chirping is not helping. I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? Did anyone? No? Well, that's what I thought. Okay, let's see what happens. shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. Yeah, it'll get me to Night City. I figure something else out there. Right. I'm looking for someone. Jackie Wells. Have you maybe... So doable? It sure was. Satisfy seen that. Not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey Mike, didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a few hours past. I, I, I thought uh, he'd at least called in to Don't you, you swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. 
No need to worry. I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? That a nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. I'll just fix it and go. I've no reason to linger. <sighs> no, nope. you sure shit don't. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? Are you one of those who believe everything the talking heads say? The nomads are the world's greatest evil? No. I'm a man that respects order. Corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that the way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog. You know that? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to see me bare my fangs. So I'll ask again. Where's your clan? There is no clan. There is no camp. I'm here alone. Ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I sold broadcast and comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down, and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? You like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? <laughs> well, what that's how we replied about? authority. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Best that Mr. No Lips was the best driver in the cyberpunk world, so he drove through the barren lands to find a radio tower. There was this only thing between him and his loving radio tower, so he turned into King Leonidas. This is Sparta! McCoy, it's good to hear your voice. Fee, wish I could say the same. Why can't you? You abandoned the clan. I can't help you anymore. I never knew you to be so cautious. Try and loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without him. You can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. Wouldn't be a problem if you're still a backer. You should have stuck with them, joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. Snake Nation can kiss my ass. I need your help. One last time. One last time? Again? I have to find the client with my payload, but I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? 
My car gave out. The electric coupling. It's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolove data. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. Now, he was a confident nomad, so he trusted his guts and performed his acrobatic skills to impress the gods. Bruh. Once again, it was time to show off his driving skills. So without any fear in his mind, he pressed the accelerator and almost pissed his pants. Well, I guess nobody saw that. what you have to say. Let me first steal some stuff. I believe I am. Are you... Name's Jackie Wells. V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be made. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? You're a man of principle? You need a backbone, cabron. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Why don't we start with you then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That, and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. Let's load it in the car. Oh, well. I started thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff he looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. <sighs> what a fat ass. Out. You have the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. 
We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey, you, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why, are you nervous? Me? Scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. Of course I will do the talking. Because you know me. I'm the legend. Please direct your vehicle to the inspection area. Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have to calm down. Right, right, yeah. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. <laughs> it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo is flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. They're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? Relax. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docus, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Right. You forgot. I'll keep the engine running, in case of a cock up. Do that. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Now please report to room number two. Don't be slow now. Upgrade. Please sit. Papers. Is this routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? If anything's wrong, just say so. I'm sure we can figure it out. I haven't said anything yet. The question is, should I expect to find anything out of order? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which Nomad clan? None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Don't forget to take your personal items. Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive, which is just a euphemism for ignorant. 
What are you looking at, huh? Mr. Cool Glasses. What happened in there? I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. You're gonna tell me what happened back there. The customs dickhead got nitpicky. And that ain't normal? Not to that extent. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Damn. Calm down. Sometimes these things happen. This? What kind of shit happens? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <sighs> so what now? I could ask the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I was just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but... You're all right. So you tricked me. Oh, well, apologies for offending the spotless moral code of a smuggler. So, what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Open it. 
I don't know if your client's gonna be happy getting an open package. It usually means trouble. Fuck the client. You gotta start working for yourself sometime. No commission, no middlemen. And I need to know what I'm selling if I'm gonna try to find a new buyer. Aw, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Then maybe we'll make some heavy money. Mamis, a real iguana. A, uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser Antil what? Yeah, I watched the thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. You think you can make some money on it? Sure. I think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you, uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And NC ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks. Much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. They got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Hey! Oh, cuddly little fucker. You know what, Jackie? You're not all bad yourself. Oh, <laughs> you don't mean that, mano. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. 